Howdy folks, uh, I wanted to take a minute out here today and uh, do a short little video. We had some people talking not too long ago about owning uh, things like body armor, uh, and s particularly on the uh, civilian side, guys like me who are not military or not law enforcement, you know, what's the point of having it? Why would you have it? Why should you have it? Um, if you should, uh, why wouldn't you? And so, you know, as always, guys, this is my opinion. Don't take any of this stuff as, as gospel truth. People get really bent out of shape when I say things and come along and say, well, what do you know? You know, whatever. You know, this is this is my input for me based on knowledge that I've accumulated, uh, practicing that I've done, classes that I've taken, training, that kind of thing. Yeah, if, if this is uh, completely <laughs> against your belief system for whatever reason, uh, whatever. I don't really care. Um, I'm just going to talk about what I know. So, uh, as far as civilian ownership of things like body armor, um, and assault rifles, uh, which I'm going to just kind of set this aside for right now, since I'm not, that's not what I'm talking about. For me, uh, there's, there's no good reason not to have, uh, a, a good set of, uh, uh, a good set of armor if you can afford it. Now, keep in mind your particular uh, requirements, your particular uh, mission, whatever it might happen to be when you're choosing this kind of stuff. Um, if your mission is to, you know, prepare for uh, the big igloo and you're just waiting for the uh, collapse of society, uh, maybe you don't need to spend a fortune on the most high end, uh, whatever you can get. Um, and that's fine. I don't care. You know, when, when all that, uh, apocalypse happens, your stuff is, you know, if it's good enough for you, uh, best of luck to you. But, uh, but, but also think real clearly, you know, because if your idea is that it want, you want to have something that you can rely on something that you are inherently going to trust your life to, uh, maybe just don't get cheap on it, you know? Um, if you say, oh, my budget's, uh, 150 bucks for a set of plates, well, eh, man, like, I hate to break it to you, but that's not enough. Uh, you might be able to find some really cheap garbage AR-500 steel plates. Uh, those are, they're, those are targets, man. Those aren't armor. So think twice before you just go and spend because you figure, well, I'm never going to use it. You know, if you think you're never going to use it, then don't buy it. Like, what's the point? Uh, I hope I never have to use this, but I know that if I do have to, if I do have to rely on this, I know that this, uh, you know, these are fairly good, solid, uh, uh, you know, ceramic plates here, front and back. Uh, I know the rear's drooped a little low. I need to readjust my straps here. Um, so as far as why would you have it? Um, why, I mean, why not? Again, you know, we we're we're, this is a right that we have. We can have this stuff. If you're one of those people who believes uh, that strongly in the Second Amendment and, you know, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, uh, if you think of yourself as being the militia uh, and, you know, as part of your Second Amendment support, then, you know, be be ready to be the militia. And if that means that you got to have armor and you got to have, you know, a carrier, some way to, to, to maintain your gear, uh, then by all means, just do it. I mean, what do, what do you what do you uh, what are you waiting for? This is this is an exercise of our right. I think that anybody who wants to should absolutely do it. Um, and you know, for for pragmatic reasons as well as uh, just for you know, for me, there, there's fitness reasons. You know, also this is something when I go out and I do some training, I'll I'll throw this on. It gives me an extra. Oh, I'll. I don't know how many, 15 pounds or so of, of weight, uh, that I can strap on here, go run around, uh, get myself, you know, get my, get my heart rate up, get myself going. Um, so that's it. The, 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 the thing that you have to remember though, of course, is if you're going to have something like this, um, what you need to do, if you're going to have something like this as part of, you know, as, as a, as a kit that you're going to have as your, your uh, luau kit, your bug out kit, whatever it happens to be, just remember that you got to practice with it. You got to you got to train with it. You got to know how everything works. You got to know how to get it on and off quickly. 
Uh, you got to understand the limitations of it. For example, this particular one, this is a Grey Ghost Gear Minimalist uh, plate carrier. Uh, it has no, it has no side plates. Uh, so that's something that I always have to be cognizant of, you know, when I start thinking about that, it has no cummerbund. I don't have extra space here for carrying stuff. So anything that I need to carry is going to be front and center or on the back. On the back here, I've got a nice little, a Grey Ghost Med Kit there uh, that just, that does tear open. Uh, tactical Tailor Admin Pouch, pouch on the back that I can carry all kinds of stuff. I think I've got two or three magazines in there right now for weights. Uh, so again, just just be cognizant of how this affects not only uh, you, you know how you carry things, how you operate things, how you uh, move about in the world. This makes it you know this is uh, not huge. This is fairly low profile, but if I got to go prone, if I got to go down and hit through deck, uh, this is this is this is in the way. So you got to learn how to deal uh, deal with that, work around that if you need to. Uh, if you are, you know, again, here I can show you working, working long gun from it, you know, depending on how you might be carrying it. One of the things that I like on my guns is I like these extended charging handles, uh, latches. And, uh, of course I have found that in some cases this latch may get caught right here and it'll just hang there. So... I know that when I go and do my reloads, if I have to reload and rack the charging handle, I know that I need to keep it clear of the arm of the, the plate carrier here because if it gets caught up on that, it's not going to charge correctly. You know, I'm going to end up with around halfway in the chamber, uh, bolt open, and just be kind of screwed. So again, that's just a matter of understanding what you've got what you're working with how everything works together and and practicing with it so that's it uh if you want to have armor i think you absolutely should if you don't i absolutely don't care um but uh if you do decide to get it get something uh again keep in mind exactly what you want it to do and if it is going to be something that you count on as a life-saving tool as a life-saving device don't get cheap okay uh don't get uh terrible garbage uh steel plate armor that's just gonna you know spall uh blow up your neck you know when you when it gets hit um there are a lot of good quality armor brands out there that do not cost nearly as much as they used to um so look into those um and also quality uh carriers plate carrier whatever it happens to be uh something that's good quality that's not just going to fall apart because again all this stuff is heavy so if you've got heavy you got bad stitching in your straps here or whatever your uh pouches start coming apart uh this thing does you no good if you're you know running 10 yards on range and it just falls apart Right, so make sure that you're uh, paying attention to the gear that you're getting. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, if anybody has any questions, I, you know, of course, go ahead, post questions or comments or talk shit about the Blue Jays because uh, I just don't know if they're going to be any good this year. That sucks.